previously on the Lisa's career board. We ended up finishing the last episode with an absolutely fantastic performance against Harrogate Town. The absolute Welsh wizard getting the first hat trick of this career mode and what a hat trick it was. Absolutely unreal play. Fantastic first goal, second goal he made himself and the third one a little tapping header. And we also did progress in the FA Cup. Right, before we move on in this episode, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who liked that last video. It's absolutely done incredible on my challenge. Probably one of the best videos I've had so far on the channel to date. Now, if you are loving this series, I'm absolutely loving doing it. If you're loving it, please drop yourself a like right now. Make sure that you're subbed. And get down in the description where you'll find all of my other socials. Go and follow me over there, guys, because I'm loving the interaction at the moment. Right then, let's get back into it then, boys. Right then, the first thing that we need to address in this episode is that we need some reinforcements. We need a little bit of veg to go with the Sunday roast. We need those roasted parsnips. We need the roasted carrots. We need the little dauphin wild potatoes with a nice little cheesy sauce. And that is what we bought in. We bought in Sonny Aluko. I remember this geezer from his time at Rangers, his time at Hull. He was a proper little nippy winger who could also play up front as well. So we've brought him in to be another, another attacking option. And we also tried to bring in Henry Lansbury. Now, with that centre part in, he was clearly only the second best looking bloke in that room. He was totally, totally derailed by it. He didn't want anything to do with us, so we decided not to come. But we do end up going and getting Port Vale's permission to speak to James Wilson. Now, again, another lad who I remember from back in his time at Man United, at Salford City, and he is going to do bits at this club. I know for a fact he's absolutely rapid. He's way quicker than what we've got already, and his finishing is deadly. Now, as we have already talked about, we are moving on in the FA Cup. Now, I've told you already, I want a little cup run. I want to do bits in this competition. And in this game, we were absolutely on one. First couple of minutes, Nelson slides a lovely, delicious little ball to Howard. But what a fantastic save from their goalkeeper. But we find the ball into Wilson. It gets lofted up into the air and what a header from Howard, probably the smallest geezer on the pitch. And he has absolutely done the keeper like an absolute kipper. Look at this, looping header, smashes it, top binza, never ever gonna get there. And what a start to this game. James Wilson putting himself around in that penalty area. And Howard just gobbles that up, mate, it says, I'll have a bit of that more, Sam. And speaking about having a little bit of it, have a little bit of that turn. What a little flick over his head. He swings it in and Sonny Aluko on his debut gets a massive, massive goal in this one. 50 minutes in, he's come steaming in there and the keeper's never, ever had a chance to save that. It's gone past him before he's even understood what day of the week it was. What a finish and what a debut goal from that man. And then all of a sudden, we bring on Smithy and you know what's going to happen in those court situations. If you time it perfectly, you know you're going to be able to get a goal. And we progress in the FA Cup. Now! From our time playing with Fairfield that he is an absolute baller. The geezer is the gingerbread man because when he's in front of goal, it's absolute m -m money. He is unreal and this is the goal that he scored in the Europa League final. And look at him, he comes in looking like absolute 10 men. The geezer is going to change our midfield completely. Now, of course, because we did get past MK Dons. We are going to have to find out our new opponents 
in the FA Cup and it's Everton. I didn't want it to be a Premier League side this early, but I guess if you're going to win it, you've got to beat some of the big boys, ain't you? Let's face it. Back into the highlights then. So this one against Rochdale and Wilson again with timing absolutely perfect. He gets his first goal for Lee Sowers. And what a goddamn sign and he's turning out to be. The gears of his class. Not only does he score goals, he also holds up play really, really well. And he is just nice and quick. He's just a little bit quicker than anything we've had so far. So he's an absolute unreal addition to the team. Now, Rochdale do come forward in this one. A little bit of one 2 e going on and Rodney gets the ball, smashes it past the wall and we are struggling in this one now. They are turning the tide. Longstaff goes through, lovely little volley. Imagine if that had gone in and then we do end up conceding a penalty. Now, I don't know what it is with these penalties. The refs in League 2 seem to be absolutely shit then we just concede stupid, stupid penalties. We end up going 2-1 down here. Westy goes clean through, and what a save from their goalkeeper. But we do end up losing that game. Now, straight on to the next game in the FA Cup then, where we are going to be facing the mighty, the mighty Everton. And this one, I was absolutely bloody raring to go for it i was like boys we need a strong strong start and sonny luco gets the ball little deflection up in the air and wilson gets his head on it he did pick up a minor injury in this one nothing too serious he was absolutely fine and what a header that was beating connor cody to that one and smashing the ball past jordan pickford and at this point lads i was feeling it i was like we're doing it we're gonna move on in the fa cup we're going to have another cup run. We're going to get even further in the competition. And then this happens. Ghana gets the ball into the box. Ball in. We get it half clear. I'm sorry. When has that ever been a penalty ref? That has never, ever in your life, my life, anyone's life been a penalty. And this dickhead goes and penankers it right down the middle absolutely murdered me and I thought at this point maybe if we get through to half time one all we can get something out of this game and McNeil power shots it bottom bins her. what an effort to be fair I'm pretty sure he's left footed as well in McNeil but what an effort that was bang bottom corner the wall has never had a chance and at this point I was thinking right we've given it up Garner with a power shot Rui Diaz goes and does it and I tell you what, I was absolutely distraught, boys. But we have to pick ourselves. We have to go again against Bradford here, who are quite high up in the league. And James Wilson getting another to his name. He's had an absolutely unreal start. I love playing with the geezer. I didn't think I was going to enjoy playing with him as much as I am, actually. I thought Smith was going to be playing still. But every single time I've put Smith on, we seem to do nothing. Soon as Wilson comes in, the geezer is absolute money. The geezer's banging it in left, right and centre. Again, another swing ball in from Howard. Now, Howard has got that on absolute luck. He is pinpoint. He's like David Beckham back in 03, just swinging balls in. And look at that. Reminds me of that David Beckham cross for Real Madrid when he swung that ball literally from one side of the pitch to the other side for Ronaldo. And yes, I did just compare Howard, a 16-year-old, to one of the best strikers of the ball of all time. Let's not even talk about it. Let's not even dwell on it. Now, this one, massive game, local derby against Warsaw. Let's get into the commentary. Come on then, lads. Let's go. I want some big, big performances, especially from the boys that we've picked up in the last couple of games. We've picked up some decent form. Here we go, Longstaff beating then. Month was always going to have him win it. He tell you what, he looks absolutely minuscule next to Month. Down a little bit. Into Leachy. Ball, back post. Win that Longstaff. Oh, down to, down to Wilson. Oh, I was begging for a power shot there. Longstaff's gone through though. What a save. It was because that man was down injured. Who is it? Is it White? Right, and Gordon definitely going to cause cause 
Leachy some problems down this side here. He scored two against us last time. What a save from the wall. Bring on the wall. Come on. Little corner routine then. Let's stop that, boys. Come on, Longy. Back into it. Ooh, and again. Oh, the wall is doing bits at the moment. Two great saves. Early doors. Right. Nick that then, Longy. Oh, no fouls in the box. No fouls in the box. We've been doing too much of that. <gasps> How has he missed? If we keep messing around with this ball, we are going to end up being punished majorly. Bennett coming forward now then. Surprised they ain't playing Riley. Oh, it's lovely moves. Shit. Oh, that has absolutely wetted me, that has. Wilkinson again scored two against us in the reverse fixture. Uh, it's that ball. It's such an easy ball as well. I've gone fucking committed Kamalo. Uh, and the wall's never going to get there, is it? 1 0 down. We need to be better here. It's gone out for their throwing as well. You're absolutely killing me here, boys. Good lad, Nags. And he gives the ball away. What are you doing? Oh, here we go. They come inside. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's happened again. We are just poor. I just, I don't know what has happened today. We've just absolutely rolled over and said, I tell you what, lads, if you want to have a go on us, have a go. Stick it wherever you want, whenever you want, and we'll just take it. Nags, come on, mate. Go and do something. Just get us a goal or something, son. Yes, get in! Oh, right. That is just what we needed. Terrible deflection. And I do feel a little bit bad for him. But, oh, it's just what we need. We needed a little spark. And that spark has got to have been Nagy. Of course it was. Driving in. He's hit it. Oh, that has absolutely murdered their keeper. Awful deflection. It's just what we needed though, boys. Come on. Let's turn this around now. And it's Nelson. Lines it up. Wilson, get out of the way, you prick. Oh my God. I'd love to know where that was going. You absolute donut. Right, back to the keeps. Oh, fuck's sake, boys. Come on. Not the best of... Balls out from the keeper, but we keep it. And go on then, Boyle, show us something. You've been begging to play. Oh, come on. We've got a bit of pace in the wide now. Come on. Let's stick this in. O'Reilly, I'm keeping you on because you can swing this in here. And if you swing this in right, Kamalo is going to get his absolute big noggin on it. Tommy O'Reilly. Back post ball. It's in. It's Watson. Oh, I can't get it down. Right. Let's keep this alive. Ball in. Nagy. No. Off the post. You are joking me. Lads, you're killing me. Yeah. Honestly, me are. He's going to go. He's going to explode. Tommy O'Reilly's giving it away. That's it, innit? Right. Let's nick this back. Let's nick this back early. My heart is pounding. I've got chest pains. Oh, get it up. Get it up. Straight into Smith. No! Riff, you can't blow it there. You absolute mug. Honestly, I want to absolutely cry for the next 14 days. A straight up fortnight. Because that is painful. Naggy at the end as well, off the post. Oh, for God's sake. Honestly, I feel like I want to cry. <laughs> uh, we lose the local darbs. And look what you're doing to the tank, lads. They're, they've got him. It's in the presser. They're saying, you're not the man for the job. You can't do it. 
you physically cannot go to the cottage and order a fowl. It's too hot for you, son. And a side of fish pakora, what are you doing? All it is, it's straight kima naan, little dippy in your curry, cool it down with a nice jar of Guinness, make you sweet. But he's not happy with it, he's not happy with the verdict and he's also not happy with the results at the minute. So he's just going to storm off straight back to his office. Boys, we need to be better and something needs to change. These are the results then, not happy reading at all. A two-all draw to Crawley this month. Stevenage we lose to. But then we do go ahead and get a few decent results. One against Wimbledon, one against Swindon, and a nice little draw as well against Grimsby. Now, Salford City in this one. Shout out to all the Barfy supporters who know exactly what I'm talking about. Unreal, unreal content from Barfy Boy. But Salford are always going to be a little tricky customer. Now, that volley from Howard, what a goal that would have been, by the way. Now, 68th minute, Salford are coming forward with Hendry. Gives the ball off to Bailey, but again, what a stop from the wall. I have to put some of these in there because I think some of you guys don't understand how good the wall is sometimes. What a save and what a boy he is. Now, Nelson swings the ball into the back post. Smith gets on it, but it's offside. It's another nil-nil draw from us, and we need to start picking up some wins, man. Speaking of picking up some wins then, and we look to Matty Longstaff, the gingerbread man. He is clean through, and what a little finish that was. But we know what Leighton Orient are like. They've got some absolutely fantastic players. Now, Duke McKenna, what a boy, but what a finish from this geezer here. It literally went postage stamp. Now, I left this one in there because, O'Reilly, I don't think I'm going to keep you on, mate, because it's stuff like that. And I promise you, I was not pointing that power shot all the way over to the corner flag. I've never done that. But Leighton Orient do come back in this game, and it's 2-1. But we weren't going to lie down. Sonny Aluko with a little dink ball over the top. Matty Longstaff clean through again. And Ginger Bread, man. Death, taxes, and this geezer scoring when we bloody need him and look again he's making another run great little run he's gonna try and dink the keeper good save but Sonny Aluko follows it in bundles it over the line the two defenders was like me to use like triple brothers on bloody ice mate it was absolutely awful defending and all he had to do was stick a little toe out and that's exactly what he did bundles it over the line and we're back in the lead. Get in there, Sonny. He has come up with some decent, decent, real clutch goals this season. I want him to stay on. There is a consideration of retirement. But Leighton Orient coming back forward again. And Duke McKenna with one of the greatest names I've ever heard in my life. Does go and get them back. It's 3-3, three, three, lads. Honestly, our defence is so bloody leaky. And at this point, we'd brought on a few new faces. One of those being Smith. Lovely little turn in the box, little bit of outside on it, it cuts across the ball and it's gone straight in past the goalkeeper, never even seen it coming my boy and again the Welsh wizard, magical, he's absolutely magical, magisterial, whatever you want to say, he's been absolutely fantastic and look, yes he's an understudy to Wilson nowadays but he's just got to understand his place in the squad, that's all it is. Desperate to see this one out then. We get the ball away. We give it away again. But ref, mate, I'm on what you're on. I'm smoking what you're smoking. I'm drinking what you're drinking because that was a bit grim to blow the final whistle there. Going into the last game of the season then, we are a point above Leighton Orient and they are in the drop zone. Now remember, if we do fall into that drop zone, it means that we have to put our top goal scorer on the transfer list and get rid of him. ASAP. So we cannot afford to lose this one. We have to beat Carlisle and we have to do better than the Leighton Orient result. So for the final time this episode, boys, let's get in to the live commentary. I need energy, absolute energy crew. Sonny Aluko, considering retirement. Mate, I've signed you for two seasons. You can absolutely jog on. You put pen to paper. You're staying with us, son. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you're saying your body's tired. It's weary. It doesn't matter. You're staying here. Matty Longstaff has become an absolute hero, a cult hero at this place. 
and I am considering sticking a vote out there on the old Twitter to see if we do keep him. It would be against the rules, of course, of our transfer rules, but I just love him. I love him too much to see him go, so he might have to be overridden. Ball in then. Sonny Aluko. Oh, he was off. So he was onside as well, sorry. Oh, keeper's throwing it straight away. Out is Howard against the Holy One. Virtune! Absolute unreal start. We've had two opportunities there. Both of them should have gone in. But the one from Howard, he gets it past the absolute Holy One. Mate, if you were watching the Barfy Boy series a couple of seasons ago, the Salford City one, the Holy One was an absolute nightmare. But look at this. Can't get his legs sorted out quick enough. Ball straight past him. And that is the absolute perfect start, boys. Get in there straight away. Come on then, boys. I want another couple. I want a nice, convincing victory. I don't think we've had a very nice, convincing victory yet this season. Probably the only one that we did was at the start of this episode against MK Dons. Is he going to do something? A little yard of space. Power shot. Ooh, the holy one. If you weren't six foot 11, mate, I tell you what, that would have gone in. No, I don't want Longstaff taking it. It's going to be a Luco to swing this one in. Into Kamalo. Not into Kamalo, into Nagy. Come on, Nagy is, is left. He's playing left back, yeah? The geezer has got 14 goals. That's 15 goals now and seven assists in this season. He's the best left back I've ever played with. Absolute, hands down, best left back I've ever played with. What a ball in from Aluko. But look at that. Driving in, fantastic header. Come on, lads. I tell you what, with this team, the future is very, very bright. But we've just been absolutely pure dog shit this season. We've been woeful, shocking and awful. But it's times like this that you can see... We're going to do something. We are absolutely a team that can go places. I knew before I even played that ball that that was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Good lad, Wally. Easy, easy, easy stuff, though. Right, Sonny Aluko. Get this away at the front post. Love that. Look at Leachy. Again, he's tiny, but he just battles. He's a proper battler. I don't know how old he is. I don't think he's that old. But I don't think he's going to grow loads. Longstaff, get a new bike. Get a new bike. Go on, Tommy O'Reilly. Come on, show me something. Finish that, son. Look, he's dead. He's the deadest of dead people. He's absolute Deadpool. That's the one of the worst. You can't say anything. That is one of the worst finishes I've ever seen. I didn't do anything mad. I didn't do like a fucking power shot or nothing. It literally was just a shot. The geezer is woeful. And as a Villa fan, I feel awful for saying it because I think he's going to be good in good life. In, in good life. In real life. But in this game, he's absolutely poor. Into Aluko. Into O'Reilly. Back into Aluko. Lovely little bit of play from the defender. Oh, Nagy. You've absolutely done it. Oh, shit, that was a very, very bad tackle. Nothing silly, though, ref. Love that from you. That was definitely a yellow card. Jesus, man, the ball's gone miles away. Boyley, swing that in. To absolutely no one. Oh, Patrick, and that's it, boys. We have done it. We stay outside the relegation places. It's been an absolutely lacklustre season. I'm not going to lie to you. But at least, at the very least, we don't lose our top goal scorer. Fantastic goals from Howard. And then, of course, the headed one from Nagy. But this is the big boy. This is the one that we have to think of. Do we keep... Matty Longstaff. I played with him in the Fairfield United career mode. I love him. I think he's absolutely fantastic. But let's face it, 
he does break the rules. Now, of course, like I said, I'd love to keep him. I think he'll be absolutely unreal for us next season. But it's against the rules. It, it technically is. He's 68 rated. He's 23, so he's younger than our age cap as well. And then the other one that we have to think of is Tommy O'Reilly. Do we get rid of Tommy O'Reilly or do we let him go back to Villa and we don't bring him back into the team? So what I want you to do, my Twitter is in the description below. I want you to get over to my Twitter. There'll be a poll in my Twitter. I want you to vote whether you want us to keep Matty Longstaff, Tommy O'Reilly, do we bring them back on loan? Do we bring them back permanently? Personally, I would love to have Matty Longstaff come back on a permanent deal. How much is he going to cost us? It's 1.3 mil. That's easily doable for us as well. So get over to my Twitter, guys. Tell me, do you want me to bring back Tommy O'Reilly on loan, Matty Longstaff on loan, or Matty Longstaff some big, big decisions for you boys to make. Now, we're just going to have a look at our top goal scorers. So, of course, Wilson with 18. It was Nagy with 14. I did get it wrong, actually, in that live con. But, yeah, from left back, 14 goals. More than our backup striker at the moment, Harry Smith. You've got Roberts as well. And then, of course, Nelson. Now, speaking of Nelson, nine assists, our assist leader, with Nagy coming in second. Roberts then with six. Howard in there with five, and then Wilson. So, realistically, Nagy and Wilson, both with the most goal involvements. And Sonny Aluko is very, very quickly declining. And then, let's have a look at the clean sheets. <laughs> Nelson got more clean sheets than Wall did. Jesus Christ, we need to fix our defence up. Final league standings then. Liso's just outside the relegation places. I'm so glad that we don't have to get rid of Wilson. But yeah, a terrible, terrible, lacklustre season. Guys, next season, I want to be up here. I want to be up there with Bradford. Warsaw, Colchester and Crawley Town, the winners of the League 2 trophy. Now, before we finish this episode off, I just wanted to flick through the free agents list. Now, we've come up with some really interesting people. You've got people like Jassy Zardes, you've got Andone, uh, Alexander Merkel, Besic, Liam Moore, Phil Jones, Bruma. you've got Vasilev here. Now, this guy I really want to have a look at. I don't know who he is, but he looks very interesting. The hair... The name I'm never going to be able to pronounce. Another one I find very interesting here as well. Endo. I'll get my very own Endo. I'd love to do it. And then we've got Zivkovic, a career mode legend. Now that is your job for the next episode, guys. I want you to tell me who's your first choice of a free agent and who's your second choice. I might be picking one. I might be picking two. Depending on how generous I'm feeling at the start of the next episode. But guys, that is it for today. Now, career mode king with a zero on all the socials. Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, of course, and Instagram. Please go and follow me on all of those. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss the next episode, which will be coming very, very soon. Guys, like I said, please make sure that you've dropped a like and I will see you very soon. Peace.